Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a one skillet meal. This is one skillet lemon pepper, shrimp, and orzo. And I've already got my pound of shrimp. I, this is a medium. It's peeled, deveined, and I've already pulled the tails off. I salt and peppered it after I dried it with paper towel. And now we're gonna put it in the skillet and let it cook just a little bit. And you don't want these overlapping or anything like that, so you just need to spread it out. And then we're just gonna let these cook for just about three minutes. We're gonna flip them and then we're gonna cook them for another minute or so. And then um, take them out and set them aside. Okay, so I'll come back in just a few minutes when we get these done. Okay, y'all, so I cooked the shrimp for just a few minutes in a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of oil. And now, I have removed them because they're, they're already done. Set them aside. And we're getting ready to put our orzo in. We need a cup and a quarter of dry orzo. And we're gonna toast it a little bit. A lot like how you do um, like rice -a -roni. It's very similar. Now with this, we could have put in some shallots and um, some garlic cloves. But instead of doing that, I'm just gonna add in some onion powder and some garlic powder. So you're gonna do this just for a couple of minutes. So you can get them lightly toasted. And then we're going to pour in our broth. So let me go ahead and add the onion powder and garlic powder. You're not gonna need that much. I'm just gonna do about a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of each. Just depends on your taste. If you want more, you can add more. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So, stir this around a little bit. And you can toast it for as long as you want to, but it shouldn't take long because you're using butter specifically. Um, the oil, yes, but the butter is going to speed things along a little bit. And then I've got three cups of chicken broth, but you can use vegetable broth if you prefer. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add this in. Three cups worth. And I did this with bouillon cubes like always. Go ahead and get all that goodness in there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put in some more salt. Got a half a teaspoon or so of kosher salt. And then I'm just going to do about the same on the pepper. You can do however much you like, though. All right. We are going to bring this to a bowl, which shouldn't take long. And do we're gonna we want our orzo to be like al dente, so it shouldn't take long. And then I'll come right back with you. Okay, so the orzo has already come to a boil, and now I'm gonna reduce the heat and simmer for 10 to 15 more minutes until it's the texture that I would like. All right, y'all. So now we've got most of our liquid is absorbed and or orzo is perfect. It's, it's hard to say sometimes. So for this recipe, you can either put in asparagus or spinach. I chose asparagus and I've already washed them and cut them. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them. Now these are fresh and you're only supposed to use about eight ounces. So I'm gonna do that. We'll mix that all in here together. Now, 
You'll continue to cook this until this asparagus softens up some. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the rest of what I chopped. Cause I got a lot of people to feed. And yes, I cut the ends off, so we don't have that to worry about. So I'm gonna just stick this in here, let this finish cooking, I'm gonna put my lid on it, and then hope that it cooks my asparagus real good. If not, I may have to take those ends out. All right, and then after that, we'll add back, we'll add some, uh, our shrimp back in. We'll also add some lemon juice and lemon zest. So we gotta get this cooked first, and then I'll be right back with you just in a few. Okay, y'all, so finally got to a point where we could stop. Um, we need to go ahead and put in our lemon zest. This is zest for one lemon. Make sure I get all that out. And then juice for one lemon. Trying to catch all the seeds. The other half. Yep. I think I still got one in there. So let me get that out real quick. really quickly and I'll go ahead and add my shrimp back in and I'm ready to serve basically I'm gonna let this sit in this hot pan with the lid on it for just a little while but that's basically everything's really easy and simple um, I think Prep time probably was a factor. You know, it took a little bit of prep time and then just trying to wait for the orzo to cook and get done. Took a little time. Um, spinach is not gonna take as long, you know, if you put fresh spinach in. So, asparagus takes just a little bit longer. So I'm gonna let this just sit, but that's it y'all. I'm going to bring let me raise this up to the camera so you can see a little bit better. Yeah. Did great. You can also take lemon slices and put on top if you want to. Um, but that's it. Real easy and quick and one pan. All right, y'all. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Hey, y'all. Welcome back into my channel. Today, we are going to make a really quick stove top recipe. Um, it's just something I'm gonna just throw together. So there is no written recipe for it. Um, it's gonna be chicken alfredo. And instead of it gonna be, instead of using um, fettuccine noodles, we're just gonna do penne. So it's gonna be real easy and quick. Made with the sauce and really simple. Not much to say about it. It's just going to be real simple. I've already got my penne cooked. And it's going to be all put in this one pot as soon as this chicken gets done. So just give me a few minutes to get this done and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So, I don't know if I said it before, but this is two chicken breasts chopped up into bite-sized pieces. I just turned them over in some oil until they were done. Um, I'm going to take out a portion I have to have that for a family member and I forgot to do that off camera so let me do that real quick all right now poured off what little bit of grease and everything that was on here and now I'm going to pour in penne and you can make it much as much as you want to um I'm hoping this one little jar of Alfredo sauce is gonna be enough. It's probably not, but this stuff is expensive. This Rayos, I'll put a little water in this to get this out. Um, this is like a 15 ounce jar and um, it is expensive. $7 for 
for this little jar. We're not a fan of, um, I've tried several different Alfredo sauces and this is the only one that is even remotely similar to what I make. I do mostly make mine, oh, it will, it will kind of spread, it will go far. Um, I make mine homemade. Usually I like it better, but you know, trying to do some things quick, show y'all that we can still have a good dinner. We just gotta throw it together on the stove top. And I'm gonna take a little bit of garlic. And it probably has plenty, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic powder and pepper. Now you could add some parsley, fresh or dry. I'm gonna leave it out, but you could do that. And that's it. Uh, about a pound's worth, 16 ounces of the penne, and two chicken breast chops. And one jar of sauce, and you got a meal. I'm gonna, oops. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, um, make some garlic bread go with it. And we're done. I would make a salad, but I know these boys are not going to eat it. So there's no sense in it. But that's it. it it's very, it spread out pretty good. Um, but me, I would probably use a second sauce and add a little bit more pasta. But, you know. Or you could have added, like, some steamed broccoli to this. That would be good. Or some steamed asparagus tips. Those would be good, too. Okay, y'all. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.